You've heard about it many times, but always wonder what it is exactly. You're finally going to have a precise answer. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how Couchsurfing works. Stay tuned! Hello everyone! If you don't know me yet, I am Mary Jane. I am a full-time traveler and I make videos about super cheap traveling every week. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get more material about this topic. And if you too are on Instagram, go check out my profile. I post there new pictures almost every day. Couchsurfing is a social network specifically dedicated to travelers. It is a service that allows people to connect and to offer or receive a free accommodation during their trips. It was founded in 2004 by American traveler Casey Fenton. Has it ever happened to you to go visit a friend who moved to a foreign country that you really, really wanted to visit? So you kind of use the visit to your friend as an excuse to go to see that place and have someone who guides you to the best spots and gives you a free accommodation? Well, basically, Couchsurfing is an expanded version of that. Their motto is very much self-explanatory and it says You have friends all over the world! You just haven't met them yet! And this is exactly how it feels like to be on Couchsurfing. To have potential friends in every corner of the world! But I know you want to hear the specific, how it practically works. So here we go! Every person who subscribes to the service has a very detailed personal profile on the website. The personal description includes a general bio, the answer to the question, why am I on couch surfing, a list of interests, passions and hobbies, one amazing thing done, what a person has to offer in terms of teaching, learning and sharing, a list of countries the person has visited or has lived in. Then there is a photo section, which usually includes travel pictures or pictures of the person with his hosts or with his guests. The last main section of a personal profile is super important, and it is the collection of all the references. Every time two people have a couch surfing experience, each one of them is required to leave a feedback on the personal profile of the other one. And this is the main way for surfers and for hosts to understand if a people they have never met before is trustworthy or not. The more positive references, the more reliability. How it works is, if I have a spare bedroom in my house, a couch, a mattress, a camp bed or whatever, I describe it in a specific section of my profile and I set my status on accepting guests. Then what I have to do is just to wait for a surfer to send me a couch request asking me to stay at my place. On the other side, if I want to travel to a foreign country, I type the name of the city I'm going to in the search bar and what I'll get is a list of potential hosts. I just have to choose which one I like most based on his profile and send him or her a couch request. If I request guest guest if a request gets accepted, the surfer will meet the host at his place and stay there for the duration they previously agreed on. If you're beginning to have a more clear idea of how couchsurfing works, comment below now and write that's genius. As I said, a couchsurfing experience is always completely free. It is based on reciprocity, not on money exchange. What this means is that you get a free accommodation, but you are expected to give something back to your host and or to the community. So you will yourself offer a place to stay when you're not traveling, if you have the possibility. So other surfers can benefit from your hosting like you did from someone else's when you were traveling. It's not a written rule, but it's mere common sense that when you get hosted, you give something in exchange to your host. What this is, is up to you, and it depends on how long you are staying there. If you stay only two or three days, you can cook a meal, you can wash the dishes, you can bring a little present from your home country. If you stay like a week or longer, you may want to help clean in the house and maybe fill up the fridge with some new food. <laughs> Although hosting and being hosted is the original purpose of couchsurfing, as the name itself explains, it is not the only type of experience you can have through this website nowadays. 
It also has a live hangout service. There are couch surfing events you can take part to. And there is also a possibility to contact a local just to spend the day around the city or to have a coffee and a chat. That's basically how couch surfing works. Please like the video if you did, dislike it if you didn't. If you want to learn how to travel cheap, you may want to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos coming out on the subject every week. And make sure to also hit the bell button to get a notification when I post a new one. If you know someone interested in knowing how couch surfing works, please share this video. If you watch this, you probably are a traveler, so you may be interested in my Packing Like Quick Guide. It's a tool that guides you step by step to pack your perfect hand luggage without stress, to go anywhere without having to check in any extra bag. I'll leave the link to the download in the description below. I hope you have now a more clear idea of what couchsurfing is, and I especially hope that you're willing to take a shot at it now. I am doing a series of videos that will guide you through the process of getting started on couchsurfing and to improve the use of it if you are already registered. So keep posted!